anyway, let's talk to our good friend pa Barbie Carlisle. She's got another uh, secret for us to do today. Hey, Bobby. Good day to you. Let's get a good look at Bobby with his little spectacles. All right, I have her off. I'm telling you, I have five are off. Is this person trying to pose next to me? I <laughs> oh, know he was just—I don't know what he was doing, but I was like, "Are you, are you great lumberjack gar hipster get up?" Uh, one and the same. So, Bobby Carlisle, um, I on I have Azarov. Just immediately, I'm like, "Nazat's still around, isn't he?" <laughs> He's had to resort to new measures. God, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, let's 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 be serious about this now. Let's, as serious as we can be, anyway. Uh, a key story here for the latest. Well, have I got news for you? A weaponsmith was just here visiting Tithris, Korif, I think. Couldn't help but overhear their discussion about some sort of ancient key. Might be of interest to you. What with your artifact hunting. Weaponsmith Chorus was headed back to the Obsidian Enclave. You should head there and get the scoop about this ancient key. Quest objective. Seek out Weaponsmith Chorus and interview him about the key. Safe travels. Greetings, adventurer. What do you seek? A key story. Have you ever heard of the Titan Key? Tall as a dwarf, magically imbued, the Titans use a special mold to forge the key, but have been lost for ages. However, as fortune would have it, Jithras found a book that he believes leads to that very mold. Problem is, the text, text isn't exactly straightforward, and I'm terrible at reading between the lines. Heck. With all your experience finding artifacts, maybe you could give it a shot. I'd be happy to forge this, the key if you find it in the mold. If you find the mold. Blacksmith, you will receive the blacksmith and the apprentice. All right. Deep in Cloverwood Hollow, swallowed by a sylvan glade. Worked a smith with his apprentice. One day their forge was attacked by thieves. The smith told his apprentice to hide their most treasured crafts, including the mold, to an indelible, incredible key said be crafted for Keeper Tear himself. The smith then went off to hold off the attackers. With little time, the apprentice cast a spell to obscure the mold by blending it into the masonry. To find it again, she magicked a stone table to react to their tw their torches and display the location of the mold. As a last precaution, she ensured that only those with the eyes of Onara would be able to spot the mold against the masonry. Bing! Um, the attackers soon overcame the smith and made their way into the forge. The apprentice escaped and would never return. Still, she passed her secret to those she trusted, hoping one day the mold would be found again. Cloverwood Hollow. Do I know where that is? I just don't know where. I'm thinking Azure Span. But since it's related to the Onara Idol, maybe it's the Onaran Plains. Um... In which case, I have an idea where that would be. It's in the Onaran Plains. It's definitely in the Oh, it's right here. It, I, it's, I was actually thinking there's that whole spot in the middle that's forested. Um, that's where Cloverwood Hollow is. All right, cool. Nearest flight point is here. Marokai. I can fly there, though. I'm probably going to lose the burb, but we'll see. I can reapply it. Yeah, it's this area. I think it's where you like throw the spear at the, f the fruit or something. Isn't this one? 
That's why I remembered it. Alright, so... It re let's read it again. Get away from me, thingy. I don't want to fight you. <sighs> Deep in Cloverwood Hollow, swallowed by a sylvan glade, or to smith. So... Crafted, keep her to himself. The smith then went off to hold up the attackers. With little time, the apprentice cast a spell to ob obscure the mold by blending it into the masonry. So I'm looking for what would basically be a building. Or, rem or like ruins of a building. In here somewhere. And I'm going to assume, I mean. I'm bringing my, my hiking uh, pathfinding skills into this, perhaps. But if you have a forge that's used, and it's not a forge that you use in secret all the time, it's probably going to be off a road. Right? It's going to be a path off a road. Like maybe this one here. I am not this stealthy in the woods. I make a lot of noise and yell and scream and go, stupid root, stupid rock. And look, it might actually have an effect in, aha, uh -huh, it might actually have an effect in uh, keeping uh, you know, bears away. I'm going to be so damn proud of myself. <laughs> if it's here. Um, oh! Oh, okay. Thank you for reminding me. At least we guards is working. So um, all the things told me that that's pretty neat. Part of the uh, bird watching achievement involves these folks. I think so before I thought it would be on Avis, but before um I go and look for what could possibly be. I think I need to take the torch out for this too. I think I need both. But anyway, what I'm going to do first is I think this might. Whoops. Let's go backwards. When did I make my face paint green? I don't remember doing that. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to try harder than just happening to walk and pass, walking past it while trying to do something else. Uh, yeah, I guess it's over there. Um, I thought I needed the burb on my head. Instead, the torch did it. I don't, didn't even think I was carrying the torch. Anyway. Um, I thought I didn't have taken it out yet, so. I think this is part of. I actually don't mind the green. Alright, so I'm going to now. That may have been a total waste of time, but it put me in position to find. Do the quest. Let me look that up. That's pretty neat. Well, actually, it's, it's, I think, someone else here. Hala, Hala Cloudfeather. Yep. Yay, I'm going to have Birdwatcher any day now. Um, let's see. So it's here somewhere. Just to remind me, the torch you don't even have out. I mean, they really want it to be easy for you, I guess. So the book. Oh, it's a book, Hastily Scold Stone. And then I think you need this to help you find the other thing. So we found this. Hastily scrawled numbers are visible on the enchanted plaque. Ah, did the apprentice know about the coordinate system? 
the titan just... Well, that means I have to put my hat on now. And now, um, there's been an improvement. Uh, the... There's now a thing up here that tells you what the thinking cap is. Which would be interfering with TomTom -Tom if TomTom -Tom didn't need an update. <laughs> and now I have to change all that. Um, I'm trying, I don't want it spoiled for me. I need to find it, it's on the stone. The stone, negative three, negative two. So it's real close by. And now I don't have to keep hovering over things. We're just going to take out all the things. Oh man, I almost found it on my own. But anyway. I want to see if we could actually see it at all in there. No, you can't. Shit, I just had it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You can see the mold. If you could... Oh, shh. I'm trying to get a good look at it. I'm, I'm, ah! <laughs> that's awful. I'm trying to get a good look at the mold before I pluck it out. There it is. Okay, so that's about as good as I can get as far as getting a, a good close-up of the mold. Um, that's the best I can do. But you can see something there. So, ancient key mold. A titanic mold. The titan key mold was at the location reference in the story. Weaponsmith Korif will be so excited to see the mold. Return the titan key mold to the Weaponsmith Korif and Veldrak. Well, that's easy. I've never spoken to these folks. I have yes, I know it's the there. Thank you. It's like I like how you don't even have to have the torch out. Um, Paula says these birds are descendants of his god Onara, but I heard they were the children of Aviana. Who is to say? Aviana is a, a wild god. We are high mountain. Wow, why are you so loud? Um, you can find a shrine to her in uh, um, Mount Hyjal. Ah, just in time for the hunt. There's no better bird than the Ohuna. They were made in the image of Ohuna herself, surfing as her eyes and ears on the plains. They are the best burb. Yes, he said burb, not bird. I can turn into one now, watch. But you know what? Even though I'm on the Onaran plains, Take care and I got this from Onara, I can't fly. Sorry, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be salty about that. <laughs> it's like how can you not Anyway, I'm a burb and I can use the burb outside of uh in the the old world. And well anywhere else you can fly that's not the dragon house. Okay. Avis Griffinheart. Great to meet ya. The boys think Ohuna are the boys think Ohuna are made by different gods, but I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Usually, I don't know when, when you're hearing that in Scottish accent, Dinna does not appear at the end of a sentence. It's usually in the middle, like, I don't know about that. No, I didn't know about that. Um, but never at the end. It's a little, little weird there. Not that I am the authority on this. <laughs> they look like feathered dragons to me, don't you think? Well, reptiles and whatnot and related and dinosaurs, but that's a different world. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go back to the gotcha mold. A titanic mold. By the Ford, did you actually do it? Did you find the titan key mold? Yeah, easy peasy. Continue. I cannot believe it, Arleia. We simply must reforge the key now that we have the mold. I need to make preparations. The tome that Tithras gave me described an 
involved process, magical rituals, special components, that sort of thing. I may, may need you to help once I have all my irons in the row. I'll send word when I'm ready for the next step. What's in a mold? Forging is key is clearly the next one. Um, yeah. And then there are a few more after that. 